I just have to say that I object strenuously to your use of the word hilarious. Um, to me, this feels a lot like your reaction to being named in one of these manifestos. Now, you're of course not responsible for the words of somebody writing that document. But I do think that laughing at it is a real problem because these are real families that are impacted by this violence. And I think our efforts towards talking about this have to start from a place of mutual respect, which is what I've heard from, from this side of the table. Now, the reason we don't have those numbers, I want those numbers as much as you do, but the number, to say the numbers don't show something is simply not supported by the data. Okay, and I have 38 seconds left, Ms. Mulligan, if you, can, if you want to respond within that time. The only thing I would add is that um, it's in the name. Terrorism, domestic terrorism, it terrorizes us. It terrorizes us in our homes, it terrorizes us in our schools. Um, and, the, and to the points made by uh, my, the other panelists, it is disproportionate um, to its impact on any individual life, and it's not. You reject the idea it's something that doesn't matter, or it doesn't really matter? Absolutely reject. Okay. All right, so here's where we are. Every, every member now has had five minutes and... Okay, and Mr. Clay, so we have two members who have not, so I'm gonna go to the and two you, members who have not yet, and, and, then, you, you know, and, and we'll give an opportunity for a closing thought to any member who wants before we go. Am I next to respond, or is Mr. Meadows? I thought Mr. Meadows was Mr. next. Mr. Meadows, okay. Mr. Meadows is next, then Mr. Clay, then to you, Mr. Jordan. Uh, Ms. Owens, obviously this is a gang up on you. You know, we, we're, we're giving uh, these witnesses the ability to do a rebuttal on you, and so, um, you know, I, I find it unfair, Ms. Ballou. I mean, you know, candidly, for you to show mutual respect and then you to go after Ms. Owens, it's not appropriate. So, Ms. Owens, you can have four minutes and 34 seconds to respond, Mr. however I'm you yield like. for a second? I'll, I'll yield to the... Thank you. Uh, I believe, Ms. Owens, when you used the word hilarious, it was, in, it was referencing the fact that no one had asked you a question. It wasn't to the subject matter of the hearing. Is that right? That is correct. And for ha to have another witness insinuate something that is not accurate is just not appropriate, Mr. Chairman, for how witnesses are supposed to behave in front of this committee. I also think you didn't say it doesn't matter about the subject matter of today's hearing. You said there are other subjects that matter as well, and maybe we should spend some time on those. Is that accurate? That is correct, and they matter much, 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 much more. And I have said that. I said that in my opening, and I will say it again you know that white supremacy and white nationalism is nowhere near, ranks nowhere near the top of the issues that are facing black America. And the reason that you are bringing them up in this room is because it is attempt to make the election all about race as the Democrats Not in do. my case, Ms. Please Owens, I'm sorry. Don't, please my, do not characterize Ms. my motive. Ms. Mr. Chairman, it's my time. Yeah, you, it's my got, time. You've got your time, Mr. Meadows. I'll Every, give you three more seconds. May, Every four years, you bring up race, and you knew exactly what I meant when I said hilarious, and you just tried to do live what the media does all the time to Republicans, to our president, and to conservatives, which you tried to manipulate what I said to fit your narrative, okay? I was not referring to the subject matter that is hilarious. I said it's hilarious that we are sitting in this room today, and I've got two doctors and a missus, and nobody can give us real numbers that we can respond to so we can assess how big of a threat this is, because you know that it is not as big of a threat as you are trying to make it out to be so that you can manipulate. And the audacity of you to bring up the Christ Church shooting manifesto and make it seem as if I laughed at people that were slaughtered by a homicidal maniac, maniac is, in my opinion, absolutely despicable, and I think that we should be above that. To try to assign reality or any meaning to a homicidal maniac writing a manifesto, which, by the way, let the record show, also stated Spyro the Dragon, the child's cartoon, as a source of inspiration. He also cited Nelson Mandela as a source of information. I don't think, I don't think that Nelson Mandela has inspired mosque shootings. You can correct me if you think I'm wrong. You, are, you would rather assign meaning to a homicidal maniac than to actually address that I said to, the things that I said today that are actually harming black America. Number one, father absence. Number two, the education system and the illiteracy rate. Illegal immigration ranks high, abortion ranks high, white supremacy and white nationalism, if I had to make a list again of 100 things, would not be on it. This hearing, in my opinion, is a farce. And it is ironic that you're sitting here and you're having three Caucasian people testify and tell you what their expertise are. Do I know what my expertise are? Black in America. I've been black in America my whole life, all 30 years, and I can tell you that you guys have done the exact same thing every four years ahead of an election cycle, and it needs to stop. I'll, I'll yield back. Uh, thank you, Mr. Meadows. And now